This is just a sampling of the 150 cards that were made by members of the M&M's Children's Choir and Friends for residents at Good Samaritan and the Hillcrest. And by the time you see this, these cards will have been sanitized and delivered to those residents. And we're going to keep doing this so that we can spread God's love and the joy of God's love to other people in other residences where there is limited contact. So thanks to the people who've made these cards and keep it up. My name is Andy Teagle and I will be playing Knees by Bibi Rexa. My name is Celia Davis, and I will be presenting my art. I do more than just one style. 
I do watercolor, pastel painting, pastel paintings, alcohol inks, and sketchings. With any pastel dog you do, you first have to trace the dog. Then you color in the background color, and then start coloring in the dog. This is a pastel painting of my grandparents' dog, Molly. I've done other short-haired dogs, but out of the other short-haired dogs I've done, this one was definitely the hardest. The ears, the shadowing, and the blending were the hardest parts to do. She's definitely one of my favorites. This is one of my aunt uncle's dog, Duffy. He is a fluffy-haired dog, so when you trace the dog, you do the overall shape. Then you color in the background, and when you color it when you color the dog in, you do layers, and you use different colors depending on the colors of the dog. It took a lot of trial and error to get the technique right. It took a lot of shading and time. The other fun thing about this one is that it was my first commission. I give a huge thanks to Miss Linda French for tutoring me and helping me. I also did a watercolor landscape. It's based off of what I saw at Rocky Mountain National Park. I'm definitely working on my technique. What I love about the watercolors is that, is that you don't have to be totally exact with the picture you are doing. I personally prefer it to look similar to the photo, but not exact. Thank you, and, enjoy, and I hope you enjoyed my art. experience.
Brody Egan, and this is Karate. Single block and punch. Single block and punch. Down block and punch. 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 Square block and punch. Square block and punch. Down block and down block, upper block, upper block, upper block, upper block, chop and punch, chop and punch, Hi, my name is Brennan Davis, and today I'm going to blow your mind with dominoes. Ludwig von de Beethoven was born on December 16th, 1770 in Bonn, Germany. That means this year, 2020, is the 250th anniversary of his birth. Beethoven grew up at the same time as the United States. He lived in Europe during the time that Washington, Jefferson, Adams, Hamilton, Franklin, and the others were working to start our nation. Beethoven was talented as a boy and as a young adult, he moved to Vienna where he was known as an amazing pianist. We think he knew the famous composers Haydn and Mozart. He loved nature and spent many hours rocking in the countryside around Vienna. In his symphony number no. six, you can hear birds singing, a waterfall, and a thunderstorm. Beethoven's music was mostly written for concert halls. In those times, people attended live concerts often since there was no radio or television. When he was 30 years old, he realized that he was going deaf. Scientists have studied his DNA and think that his deafness may have been the result of lead poisoning. 
In spite of his deafness, he continued composing, although he no longer conducted or performed on the piano. He completed nine symphonies, and his fifth symphony is one of the most famous, famous compositions in the world. It contains the famous four-note theme or motif, ta-ta-ta-ta. His ninth sym symphony includes the melody Ode to Joy. Listen as the Eminem sing it for you now. Join in if you wish. Beethoven is considered one of is considered to be one of the most important composers that the world has known. He bridged the classical era of music and the romantic era. He was able to turn the tragedy of his deafness into a triumph in the world of music. It's an amazing and wonderful that we still listen to Beethoven's music after 250 years.